Hey church, today we're going to be believing and praying for financial miracles in our lives and in the lives of our friends and family of Audacious Church. We're praying today for financial breakthroughs, for pay rises and promotions at work, for new jobs for people and for businesses to go to a whole new level in their finances, as well as believing for God to do the supernatural and the miraculous there are also things that we can do to align ourselves with what God wants to do in our lives with our finances. And the first thing is this, that we should not worry about our finances. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 34, Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, about what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Isn't life more than food, and the body more than clothes? So do not worry saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Jesus is instructing his followers here not to waste any time in worrying about the material things of life. And perhaps for you, it might be uh, not what you will eat or drink or wear, but it might be uh, how you're going to pay the bills, or it might be worrying about the finances of your work situation. So let us pray that we would not worry about our financial circumstances. And let's pray for people who we know who might be worrying about their finances at the moment. That they wouldn't focus on the need, but they would put their trust in God to take care of them. As well as not worrying about our finances, we should also be declaring God's goodness over our finances today. And that's what I really want us to believe for. In Philippians 4 verse 19, it says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. As we move from worry to trust, let's declare today for ourselves that God will meet all our needs according to the riches of his glory. Let's pray this for ourselves and for all the people that we know in church, that God will, not might, meet all, not some, of our needs, not our wants, according to his riches, not our riches. Let's believe that God would do the supernatural, miracles in finances in many people's lives today. And finally, I'm praying today that we ourselves would be the miracle when it comes to our finances. Proverbs 22 verse 9 says that the generous themselves will be blessed as they share their food with the poor. We are the hands and feet of Jesus on this earth. And there will be people praying today for a financial miracle. And God's plan might be to use you to be that miracle, to be a blessing to someone else today. So I want to encourage you to, instead of waiting for a financial miracle for yourself today, why don't we activate faith and be the miracle for someone else? For the Bible says here that the generous themselves will be blessed. So let's listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit as we pray today and let him drop someone in our hearts that we can be the miracle for, that we could be that financial miracle for someone else in our church. No matter how big or how small, there's always someone who's more in need than ourselves. So I'm really believing that for us today, Audacious Church, that we would remember those three things as we align ourselves with what God wants to do financially in our lives, that we wouldn't worry, that we would declare God's goodness over our finances, and that we would activate faith by being the miracle. And we're believing for everyone in Audacious Church that God would do something supernatural and miraculous today as we pray for our finances. See you soon, church. Take care. God bless.